Now on the line for more developments in Zimbabwe, we were cut off earlier, is SABC News foreign editor Sophie Mukwena. Sophie, a very good morning once again. Uh, just a, a breakdown of what we expect to happen today. The ANC delegation is expected to meet with the ZANU-PF uh, officials where they will be discussing the current situation in that country. Uh, we expect the ZANU-PF to give ANC the side of the story in terms of what are the issues they are concerned about and also what is happening on the ground. What is not clear as we speak is whether the ANC delegation will be able to meet other stakeholders. Do we know what's on the agenda? Clearly, like I have indicated, they are going to meet ZANU-PF officials, where the ZANU-PF officials will present to them the situation or their observations about the situation in Zimbabwe. You know that ZANU-PF is adamant that there is no crisis in Zimbabwe, when on the other hand, you have activists, you also have the opposition party and other stakeholders who are saying that there are problems in Zimbabwe. So are we expecting the ANC delegation to take a hard line against human rights violations in that country? The ANC, as a fraternal party or a friend of ZANU-PF, is likely to take a diplomatic posture, but making it clear that uh, the ZANU-PF must find a way to allow President Ramaphosa's envoys to visit Zimbabwe again, where they can interact with all stakeholders with the aim of presenting a comprehensive report, report to President Ramaphosa. And the president, as the chair of the AU, he will be able to advise the AU what to do. But also, South Africa will be in a position to perhaps intervene or assist Zimbabwe where necessary. Thank you so much uh, for that update. Sophie Mukwena is the foreign editor here at the SABC, and she will bring us updates on that story as it develops.